Okay, I'm going to do 5A now from page 613, and I'll let you do 5B without me. So on 5A, we have some bamboo poles that are cut into three sizes, short, regular, and long. The lengths of each size follow normal distribution with parameters in the, given, as given in the table. So we were given the mean and the standard deviation. Find the probability that, and this is the problem I'm going to do, one short and one regular laid end to end are longer than one long. So a short plus a regular is longer than a long. Okay, so let's set that up. So I have a short plus a regular is going to be longer than a long. Okay, so I know that these are regularly, um, I'm sorry, normally distributed. So the short has a mean of 40. The regular has a mean of 80. And I want to know what's the probability that that is going to be bigger than 120. So it kind of looks like problem two, which looks like problem four, um, three and four. But it's a little bit different here in that the length of the long one varies. This one has some variability. So when we take the probability, we can't just leave 120 on this side. So what we need to do in this case, when all of these measurements in my inequality have variability, I need to move this to the other side. So I'm going to minus 120. So I get 40 plus 80 minus 120 is greater than 0. Okay, I want, it to, I want to know when is it going to be greater than 0. So here is my mean. My mean is going to be equal to, well, 0. 40 plus 80 is 120. 120 minus 120 is 0. So I want to know when is the average of these three added together is going to be 0. Because on average, two of them add up to the other one. So when I subtract them, on average, I get 0. Okay, so it kind of makes sense. So I my new variable x is going to be normally distributed with a mean of 0. And now I need to find my variance or my standard deviation. Okay, our formula is the variance is equal to of my, um, my variance, my new variance, my variance of x is going to be equal to, uh, I don't have, I'm not multiplying these by anything. So it's just going to be equal to the variance of s plus the variance of r minus the variance of l. But here's the tricky thing. We're not going to actually minus the variance of the L um, because it's adding more variability into the problem. The fact that all three of them have variability adds more variability into the problem. So when you do this, you actually just add all the variabilities together. They explain in the book something about how you're going to be squaring a negative one, and so therefore um, it becomes positive. But the way I kind of think about it is all three of these have variability that all that variability piles up, making the problem even more variable. They answer even more variable. So you're not going to subtract a variability. Okay, so what I've got here is I have my variability of the short is 2.1. So it's going to be 2.1 squared. And I'm not multiplying it by anything. Okay, these are just 1s, 1r, and 1l. So I don't have to worry about a or a squared. And then I'm going to add that to the variability squared of the regular one plus the variability of the long one. So all these variabilities are going to pile up. They're all going to get added together. So if I take these, square them, and add them together, I get 34.1. And so the standard deviation is going to be the square root of 34.1 which is approximately 5.83. But I'm not going to put this into my calculator. I'm going to put the exact answer into my calculator. The standard deviation is the square root of 34.1. That's what I'm going to put into my calculator. OK, so now I know that my variable, my new variable, which is these guys combined together, is normally distributed with a mean of 0 and a variance of 34.1. And when I put it into my calculator, of course, I am going to have to put in the standard deviation, which is going to be the square root of 34.1. So I am going to, um, oh, 
I forgot. What's my what's my probability problem? Ah, got to set that up. So I want the probability that my random variable, which is normally distributed, is going to be greater than zero. Okay, so it's going to be greater than zero. So let's go ahead and see if we can set this up. So second distributed, normally distributed. I want cumulative. My I want it to be greater than zero. So my lower limit is going to be zero. My upper limit is going to go on forever. So I'm going to put 10 to the power of 99. My mean is zero. And my standard deviation is going to be the square root of 34.1. And hit enter a few times. And I get 0. Or <laughs> Okay, that all rounds off to 0. 0.5. Oh my gosh, I have a 50% probability of that happening. Okay, so there is problem 5A. Problem 5B is basically the same thing, except now you're going to have three short lengths. So you're going to have short plus short plus short being um, shorter than, so that would reverse the inequality, one long one. And then remember, since this has variability, you got to move it to the other side. So when you're setting up these problems, when you're doing your probability, this number, you don't want it having any variability. So that's why I couldn't use the 120 here. I don't want this side having any variability. Anything with variability is going to be on this side. All right. Good luck with 5B. And then you're done.